everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited and so happy to see you again. Uh, it just means more to me than I can, can really even express. To my returning viewers, my subscribers, it just means the world to me that to have your support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome. I love uh, getting to know each other through, uh, through our comments back and forth. So anyway, it's only Monday night, so I don't have a fancy drink. But I do have a, oh, you can't see my cup. I do have my coffee cup. So I'm looking for a new coffee because, um, you know, they don't make that my... Uh, sweet coffee anymore that's got the uh, creamy sugar already in it so I've been trying some different ones so today I am trying this McCafe cinnamon mocha light roast so anyway I have got that made it's a uh, cinnamon mocha so it's kind of like a hot chocolate it's a little bit of cinnamon it's a little bit of heavy so it's not going to be an everyday coffee it's going to be kind of like oh, I feel like something but I don't know what kind of kind of day so I've got my cold stone creamery creamer and the sweet cream and I got that in my frother and then make it nice and warm and frothy and thick and I put that in here on top and then a little bit of whipped cream that's melted well I, I actually drank some because yeah so anyway so that's my coffee for today just a fun little coffee but anyway I was tagged by Alicia Martin um, to do a tag called Aya uh, 10 things I can't do without. And if you haven't met Alicia, I'm going to leave her her link below. Um, she is just such an awesome, awesome lady. She's originally from Indiana. She moved out to California. She's got a great little family, her husband and her, her sweet daughter. She does all kinds of unboxings, lifestyle and clothing. She's getting into like the food boxes and doing a little bit of cooking and just, just really, really fun. She's a really, really nice lady. If you haven't already checked her out, I hope that you check her out. I'm also going to link below Blessed GMP, Grandma Pat. She's from Texas. I just watched uh, her video last night. She had um, was also tagged by another YouTuber to do this video. So anyway, I just thought it was fun to so we'll tag her below too. If you haven't gone over and met Grandma Pat, I hope that you check her out too. She's another sweet lady from uh, Texas. And she's at, she does unboxings as well, clothing and... Um, She's just showing us how to do some of her watercolor cards and she does like lifestyle unboxings and some beauty unboxings. So just a really fun, sweet lady. So anyway, 10 things I can't do without. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I, had, I struggled with this. There are so many things that I like, but can I live without them? Yeah, because it, it's mostly on material things. And by the time you get to a certain age, it's kind of like, I don't know, They just it just doesn't mean as much as it it did. I mean, you appreciate what you get and what you've worked for, but it's, if something happened and you didn't have your house or you didn't have your car, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know, to me it's just, I can live without it, but well, it would be less to clean, right? So anyway, so I did struggle with this, but I came up with seven things. So anyway, the first thing that I have here is my family, and I could not live without my family. Um, you know, I'm here in Minnesota, our daughter's uh, back in Massachusetts, I've got a sister in Arizona, I've got a sister in um, Florida, so we're kind of all scattered, and it's just, um, just knowing that they're there is something. I remember growing up, um, you know, my brother passed away when he was 49, and, um, you know, we weren't always close, so I mean, the, the four of us, but there were things that would happen in our lives and my brother would say you know we're not always close but we're we're there when we need each other we're always in each other's hearts we're always in 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 our minds and it just and and that is so true so anyway but um you know what my daughters uh Raina and sabrina and their husbands uh jeremy and mike and then our grandchildren so you know i've got maddie matt and jeff and the jelly beans tori pie and aiden if i didn't have them in my life um yeah i i don't know what i would do so Family, family is number one with me. I, I, I need my family. Um, number two, surprisingly, it's going to be work. Yeah, I know how pathetic is that, right? But to me, it's um, I don't know. It's 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 routine. I I, I hate change. Um, so and even though work every day, it's it's not the same thing. It's different customers. It's different machines coming and going and parts and um, you know, commissions and spreadsheets and things like that. So, I mean, I am busy from the time I get there to the time I, I leave and, um, I, I just can't, 
see myself not going to work. And part of the reason of that is um, years and years ago, when I was a waitress at Howard Johnson's, uh, I later on became bartender and head bartender, and then I was a manager. But I remember, and I feel bad saying this, we called her Old Lady K, and she's younger than I am now. And she struggled just to, you know, when I first started working there, she had three tables for the lunch hour. And then little by little, so, so she had one table at the end and she really couldn't keep up with it. But all of us would, would help her out, we'd do her side work and we'd bust her table for her and we saw her food sitting there, we'd, we would help her out. And um, anyway, my bosses were like, yeah, you know, you can't stay here, Kay. And uh, I'm, I just remember her crying and crying and please don't fire me and work is all I have. All my friends have passed away or they've retired and they've moved away. My husband's gone. My children's, um, you know, don't live close by. Work is all I have. I need to come into work. And, you know, they let her go. And within a week, she was she was gone. And that just kind of always stuck in my mind that work is what kept her alive. Um, later on, um, my mom, she didn't start work until I was like in second grade. And she started off in the factory at Texas Instruments and she worked her way up and she was uh, one of the QC leaders when she left. She loved her job. She loved uh, this, the friends she made at work. She loved going out with them for lunches and going out after work to Dunkin' Donuts for coffee. And uh, she just really loved it. Uh, when my dad got, got sick, um, and you know she was still going back and forth to work and you know I would go over to help my dad out and my other sister would go over to help him out while she was gone and I don't know then my mother just kind of felt like it was her responsibility so she wanted to take an early retirement and because my dad couldn't talk anymore because you know the cancer or whatever in his throat and jaw but he had awesome penmanship I wish I could write like him but anyway he tried to talk her out of it and he just said I'm not going to be here forever um, you love your job um, what are you going to do when I'm, when I'm gone? Whatever. Because she didn't drive. She didn't like to drive or anything. But anyway, she took the retirement. And of course, a couple of weeks later, he was gone. Um, and after she did a few things, she wanted to go back to work. And they said, oh, sorry, you, you retired. You know, we've given you, given you your package. No, you can't come back. And, you know, I remember her telling me when, when Rick got sick was, you know, take a leave of absence. Don't, don't quit. Um, you know, if you have to stay home to take care of them, do that, but don't quit your job. Take some kind of leave. Retiring is the worst thing I ever did. So those two things uh, are always going to stick with me, that um, right now I love my job. I love keeping busy. I hate change. Uh, so I love my job. So that's, I, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't able to go to work anymore. So number three on my list is my health. And I like to think myself uh, that I'm in pretty decent health. So and I've been working the last uh, few years just trying to make some healthier choices and exercise. And it wasn't just all about losing weight. I mean, it's not so much about what your body looks out, looks like on the outside, but I just want to know that I'm doing something good for my heart and my every, everything else. Just my health is what is what's driving me right now is that's important if I if I didn't have good health and I wasn't able to take care of myself and I wasn't able to go to work it would just my life I just feel like it would fall apart so health number four I've got my mind well you know I don't have my mind but number four I woke down mine and I just can't um I I just feel like you know and of course I get this out I mean I'm talking about my mind and being sharp and I can't even get a simple sentence out but to me um you know I I don't know what I would do if I went to work and I was working on some spreadsheets or my bosses gave me some numbers and can you do this and I need it to graph and I was like um no I don't know what to do so to me I you know I'm happy I have my mind if once my mind goes I I don't know so that's an important thing I can't live without my mind next is my memories and as you all know I love love my memories and once you've seen um someone you love lose their, their memory and lose their mind and wake up every day and not know where they are and not know who you are and um, they can look around and see pictures of themselves and people and not recognize anything I, I think that would break uh, uh, that broke my heart but um, yeah um, I would never want to lose my memories I can't live without my memories I have what, what's keeping me, me going I think and just remembering good times and bad times and it makes us who we are and um, 
without your memories, I, I just don't know what I would do. So my next one is a, a material thing. It's either going to be, um, and it can be one or the other, that I, I just would need one, either my, my uh, smartphone or my laptop, because that's what helps keep me connected, whether it's FaceTiming um, with our children or chat chatting with them online, and just that's uh, just a way to stay connected with anybody, with everybody. So if I didn't have that, I, I don't know what I would do, because I just want to stay connected with everyone, and that's my connection to the outside world. Uh, lastly, and again, I only came up with seven things, is going to be YouTube. And uh, my YouTube, my friends, my family from, from YouTube is what, it's a, just another amazing thing that I just feel like I've made so many wonderful, wonderful friends since I started my YouTube channel a few years ago that, you know, I just look forward to coming home and, and reading comments and watching my friends' videos and commenting on them and just getting to know each other. So. I, I would never want to lose that. So that's something I can't live without. And that's it. Those are my, those are the only seven things I came up with. I mean, if I lost my car, it, it can be replaced. If something happens to my house, it can be replaced. If, uh, you know, you have a few favorite pieces of furniture, but uh, if I lost them, whether a fire or something, and I had to start over, it's, it's life, I guess. But um, yeah. So I, I came up with seven things. Love to hear your comments on that. I, I know it's probably, uh, I think probably work, probably surprised a heck of a lot of people. But um, anyway, um, I am so excited that you joined me tonight. I hope that you check out Alicia and uh, Grandma Pat. And I, I hope to see you again. I would love to read your comments on this. I'm not going to tag any specific people because I'm not really sure how old this tag is and if you've already been tagged to do it. But if you haven't been tagged and you would love to do this video, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below so that I can go and um, make sure I check you out. If you don't have a YouTube channel that you make videos, if you wanted to list uh, some things below that you can't live without, I would love that because uh, other people may read that too. And it's just a way of continually, continually mind it's going uh getting to know each other and it's just it's just a lot of fun so anyway i want to thank everyone for joining me again i hope you give this video a thumbs up i'd love to read your comments and we'll chat again soon everybody have a great night bye bye